Hey guys, back with another project again. As you can see by the picture here, we're going to be working on putting a big mud flap or rock guard on the back of my motorhome. So I went with the Vanguard Ultra Guard. So what you buy when you buy it is you just buy this big blank rubber piece. And they send you a couple of uh, trim pieces. Sorry about all the footprints, but it adds a little contrast. Little trim pieces with the uh, chrome background, and then you have the uh, reflectors that go on top of that. What they don't sell you is that piece right there, that piece of angle iron. You can buy that separately uh, off of the website for... Uh, what was seemed to be expensive to me. I got this piece right here of the angle iron This is a two inch eighth inch angle iron and then right above it. You can see I've got a flat bar And what I'm going to do instead of just running bolts Through with washers is I'm going to sandwich it between the angle iron and the flat bar That'll add some stability. It'll keep the uh, keep it from tearing out and ripping out this uh, actual uh, rock guard is very thick. I don't know that it would rip out too much, but uh, have heard stories. But anyway, so, you know, I think the piece to buy, it was ridiculous. I wanted to say it was like 50 to $70. I could be wrong, but I looked at them and like, I picked up these two pieces of iron and had them cut for less than 20 bucks. So, I got very lucky with mine. I've heard stories that they don't come with the bolts that go right here. There's 10 bolts all the way across that mount it to the iron. Uh, mine came with the bolts. It also came, like I said, with the bolts for the two um, shiny trim pieces and then the two stick-on 3M reflectors, which makes it end up looking like that, except for your Vanguard isn't... Um, you know silver of course it's black but anyway it doesn't matter so this is what we're going to do and if you're curious and you're looking into doing something like this um, i would recommend buying this the the rubber piece and instead of buying the angle iron off of the website buy it at your local store i think you can even get this at a home depot the angle iron and the flat bar so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mock this up and then I'm going to start drilling holes. Uh, and then I've got to put it up underneath the coach and uh, mark the holes to be drilled. So I'm mounted up to the frame, which is basically um, on mine. It's going to mount up underneath the frame uh, at the ends of the frame, which is about mm, six to eight inches from the very back of the coach. But anyway, once I get this all done, um, I'll have to show it to you. I won't be able to hold the camera and drill and do all that stuff at the same time. All right. Okay, what I've done here is I marked all my holes on my iron. And then I started drilling. I started drilling. I just put everything all together, put it on a big piece of wood and drilled right through all three pieces at the same time. I put that one bolt in to guide it. Um, I came back down and I did this one on the other end. What I actually should have done is I should have gone from one end and then gone into these two middle bolts and then worked my way out from there. But I've got a little bit of a bow. It's not going to be a big deal. It's all going to smash together. And if you look at this, it's not like everything's not smashed up against the angle iron um, that's because everything's just a little bit off and even though I kind of pushed it together the best I could um, but it's not going to be off by much and you're not gonna be able to notice it and even if you look at the bottom edge of this thing where it was cut from the factory it's even got a little spot right there where it's not even and if this thing goes on the back of your rig you know they're supposed to stay four to five inches above the ground so if you measure wrong and uh, it drags on the ground a little bit 
well, I think eventually what'll happen is drag it on the pavement. Eventually it'll even itself out and, uh, and get to the right length. So, um, some people like to have these things dragging right down on the ground. Uh, this is a pretty thick one, so it's not going to move that much. So it's better that it's off the ground and only makes contact when it's, uh, when it rubs up against something it's still soft enough to where it's going to bend, uh, but it's not going to sail. It's not going to be flying around like one of those ones that looks like the bottom of a broom um, flapping in the wind. So we'll go from there. I'm going to keep drilling holes and smash all this together. Um, and either, I either have to, as a whole unit, which it's actually pretty heavy, this is not light, um, put it up underneath and fit it and, uh, and uh, find the spaces for the holes. But probably what I'll do is take everything back apart after I'm done and then uh, mount the angle iron up underneath and get that mounted and then take the uh, other two pieces and put them on uh, once it's underneath the coach. But we'll see. Okay, guys, uh, this is the finished product. Finally got it up and mounted. This is on the back of a 2006 Bounder by Fleetwood. I'll show you on the side. On the video it looks like it sticks out but it really doesn't. It's underneath. But you can see how far in it is. I really would have liked to have gotten a longer one and brought it out closer. But I don't know if you'll be able to see it. There's so much going on. I mounted up down here to the frame rails where they're cut off and then as you move forward there's just all kinds of stuff going on on either side of this I got some other nuts and bolts I'm doing some more work on here but anyway there was just really no place to find a good mounting point for it um, closer to the edge everything hangs down those big storage bins and then right behind those storage bins, there's some electrical on the driver's side of the coach. So that was basically the best I could do. It's sitting on the jacks right now, so it's sitting a little bit. Um, hopefully, hopefully uh, down because it's up in the front. So there'll be a little bit more space uh, on the bottom. If not, I can either trim it or just let it wear off. But anyway, that's the Ultra Guard, Stone Guard, um, put on the back of my motorhome. I went ahead and painted the bars, the angle iron and uh, the flat bar with some black paint. I was going to show that, but my paint was uh, um, the paint that I wanted to use. I had had sitting around for a while and it didn't come out the best, so I had to uh, run over it real quick with some flat black to get it to come out right. I went ahead and painted those so they don't rust up and uh, so far I'm gonna lie I think it's looking pretty good I think it's gonna serve its purpose there's not gonna be a lot of water and road grime and stuff or rocks and stuff coming up and hitting my cars or my trailers or whatever I'm towing so we'll see the lucky or I guess the not the lucky but the good thing about this is it's not permanent I can take it down I could move it at any time I could find a better spot to relocate it Maybe later on down the road, I guess we'll see. But that's it for now. And I didn't put the reflectors and stuff on yet. Not sure if I will or not. We'll see. All right. Talk at you later.